So my name's Tyrell Spence. I'm from Mudderborough. Um, lived there my whole life in Mudderborough. Worked in Western Queensland. Um, I've been a mechanic. Worked for an earth moving company for 10 years. Um, more recently worked for the fire service and did, did nearly six years working on the Bark Alden Regional Council. Uh, I'm running for councillor for Bark Alden Regional Council to um, get a representative over the western side of the Shire, hopefully, um, but to work for the entire Shire um, to, to, to create uh, a more livable Shire, more attractive Shire to our businesses. We have five very individual and unique communities and I'd like to see them stay unique and individual um, and basically just, just help create, bring in fresh ideas, help create new ideas, um, help create new business opportunities, new tourism opportunities um, and, and make sure we give back to the locals, the people living here. I would, I would like, to, um, like to work towards and, and help achieve um, greater community consultation between the community and council, and council and the community. And I would also like to grow and develop the idea around a youth council, um, having it as a shadow council to our current council, to get the ideas of our youth and our young people. They are the future of our community. Um, they need a voice and it needs to be heard and, and they're the future. And I'd like to create that so that we can get their ideas and their vision for a future community. For those who don't know me, my name is Tom Gleeson. Kathleen, my wife and I own Ascot Downs, a little block of dirt halfway between Aramac and Bark Halden. Um, this, I've just did four years of completing four years of uh, council and the Bark Halden Regional Council. I'm seeking to um, be re-elected for a further four years. Has it been easy being a councillor? Not really, not in every aspect. Um, some of the decisions that you have to make do affect people unfavourably, but um, yeah, but as a council unit, we um, we have to we have to make decisions that uh, that help everybody out. What would I do if I was re-elected? Some of the little points um, I would really like to put a, um, a road crew at Mudderborough, whether they be contractors or permanent council. Either way, uh, I feel as though that that end of the Shire, the, uh, the roads need more attention and, um, and if we could get a couple of families to live in Mudderborough, um, that would be great benefit. The um, Aramac area, uh, very similar. The, uh, the, the road, I would like to concentrate more on the road structures there. There is uh, a lot of roads around there that um, are not all weather access. A lot of uh, cattle and sheep moving in that country. A few little um, projects that have started um, that I've been part of that I would really like to uh, sign off on. It's the uh, Barkhoolan rubbish dump, um, the Barkhoolan ski park, the um, but otherwise on the whole uh, the Barkhoolan the Barkhoolan town is is quite tidy. I, I feel another little project that may not seem uh, important to all, but the um, the Jericho cemetery definitely needs attention with the new fence around the cemetery. Another little project that we've started that I'd like to see is the um, cross-loading of facilities at Alpha and also some improvements at the Alpha dip yards. But all in all, Aaron, the uh, election is coming up on the 16th of March. Um, I would like to, if I'm fortunate enough to be elected, I would just like to let everybody know that I would like to treat everybody the same way that I like to be treated, with uh, honesty and respect. I'm not making any promises that I can't keep. So on the 16th of March, choose wisely. Thank you. So hi, I'm Vanessa Howard and I'm nominated as a councillor um, for Bark Alden Regional Council elections because um, I think I can make a difference. I'm really passionate about um, helping the more isolated communities uh, that don't seem to have enough of a voice. And I think I can make a difference by being present in those communities and offering them face-to-face -face contact and being get able to feed back more information to them that they're missing out on. Well, I have a, a rural background and, and I grew up on 750,000 acres in far west New South Wales. Um, and I've traveled around mostly rural areas all my life, but I'm very passionate about the aged care sector, having worked in that industry for many years, um, and especially passionate about assisting the older generation in our communities that sometimes just draw the short straw, aren't quite getting 
what they think they're entitled to and I think I can make a real difference there as well. I would like to see our council meetings going back into our rural towns, um, you know, Alpha, Jericho, Aramac and Mataburra. I think they feel like they're missing out a lot and I think we could really help those communities be, by being on the ground there. Um, and I also think we really need to improve our rural road network, especially our dirt roads, um, you know, with all the wet weather and everything, which is an ongoing thing. They, rural roads really need better signage, they need more emergent grades and I think I can make a difference there.